This video will explain how to review and delete fundraising transactions on the Student Fundraising Ledger screen. To get to the Fundraising Ledger screen, first click the Finances icon. Click the Fundraising black tab. Select Fundraising Ledgers from the tab drop-down list. Now select the student or member from the Names drop-down list. The student's Fundraising Transaction History section is at the bottom of the screen. This area shows all transactions posted to the student's fundraising ledger. This is the same information that the parent sees in their view. The first column shows the date the transaction posted. The second column shows the fundraising activity. The third column shows the item counts given to the student for a specific fundraiser. This applies when you have posted a value given transaction for a fundraising activity that is tracked by item count, such as for candy bar sales. The summary at the bottom shows a total of all items given to the student for all fundraisers. The fourth column is the retail value of items given. If the fundraiser is tracked by item count, Charms calculates this based on the number of items given to the student. Otherwise, it is the amount of the value of merchandise given to the student that has been entered. Remember that for fundraisers set up as match value given to the money turned in, Charms automatically enters the balancing value given when money is collected. If value given is being entered separately, remember that the total in this column needs to balance the amount in the Amount Paid column. If this column is more, the summary at the bottom shows a total amount due from the student. If it is less, you owe him more product or the student has overpaid. The fifth column is the Amount Paid. This is the amount of money that the student has turned in. Again, remember that at the end of the fundraiser, the total for this column needs to balance the amount in the value issued column. If this column is more, the student will have a credit balance. The next column is the amount of profit that has been entered for the selected student. This is credit that is actually applied to a student ledger, either to the trip ledger or to the student miscellaneous ledger. Keep in mind that fundraiser profit is credit for use of funds, not a money deposit. Money deposits went to the bank account ledger. The next column shows how many payments were made, cash, check, PayPal, or NA if the transaction is a value given or profit posted transaction type. If the payment was made by multiple checks, you can click on the icon to open a detail report of those payments. The next column shows where any profit to the student was posted. TRI is the student trip ledger. You can click on this to open the student's trip ledger. STU is the Student Miscellaneous Ledger. You can click on this to open the Student Miscellaneous Ledger. The next column shows where the payments posted. If the deposit was made to a bank account, you can click the deposit number in the next column to see the detail of that deposit in the account. To print a receipt for any transaction, click the dollar sign. To delete the transaction, click the X. A new screen opens to confirm the deletion. Select Delete to completely remove the transaction. Any money deposit transaction deleted here will also remove the deposit from the bank account ledger and any associated profit credit entry. Note that if you delete a fundraiser deposit directly from the bank account ledger screen, it will not remove the transaction from the student fundraiser ledger. Do not delete student-related deposits from the bank ledger area. Be sure to check out our library of videos for help with other Charms Office procedures.